smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe and I get the announcement for a fresh fighter program comes within a month after India committed to buying 36 Rafale fighters from France at a cost of $8.85 billion. The new fighter program is meant to replace 11 squadrons, one squadron equals 18 aircraft, of the Russian MiG-21 and MiG-27 aircraft, which are retiring in the next 10 years. India need at least 200 fighter aircraft and Tejas will not be able fill the gap Two company approached India Saab Griban and Lockheed Martin's F-16 Block 70. Let's look their features, advantages and disadvantages of buying. The Block 70 is the most advanced of all F-16s. There are 27 countries in the world who fly these planes. The Block 70 F-16 will have the fifth-generation fighter radar capabilities, some of which are greater detection and tracking ranges, multiple target track, high-resolution synthetic aperture radar, auto-target classification and queuing, advanced growth modes. 1. It has a single supply chain and better availability of parts. Two. Many NATO countries is using F-16 and India can sell them parts because F-16 is ready to shift their production system to India. 3. P old friendly automatic ground collision avoidance system can be very useful. 4. It is equipped with an slash APG-83 AESA radar. Described as agile beam it can perform air-to-air -air and air-to-ground search and track simultaneously. 5. Strategic Advantage of Grounding F-16s of Pakistan Air Force One, high operating and life cycle costs as compared to Gripen. Two, less sensor packed than Gripen. Three, many countries using it so making strategies to counter it is easy. Four, F-119 engine maintenance of F-16 is quite high and it can be a headache for India. 5. No specific advantage to other Indian indigenous products like LCA. Gripen NG is the most advanced multi-role fighter in the world capable of performing an extensive range of air-to-air, -air, air-to-surface and reconnaissance missions under all conditions in any environment. Saab has also set out a comprehensive plan within India's Make in India initiative, which will include transfer of state-of-the-art technology. Air-to-air -air superiority is guaranteed with Meteor, AMROM, IRIST, AIM-9 missile capability and Super Cruise. Gripens is packed with an AESA radar, IRST passive sensor, HMD, cutting-edge avionics, next-generation data processing and a state-of-the-art cockpit. 1. Gripen has lowest per unit life cycle and operating cost it is much less than F-16. 2. Gripen is the most sensor packed and smartest fighter amongst the fourth generation fighter aircraft. 3. Gripen makers. The Saab has offered to help India manufacture LCA Tejas and offer naval version of Gripen to Indian Navy IAC and IAC-2. 1. Gripen uses American engines so it will be difficult to manage supply chain and many parts used are not manufactured solely. 2. Gripen's per unit manufacturing cost is higher than that of LMF-16 BLK-70. 3. Relatively less battle proven than F-16. Both company offering make in India but F-16 is not helping in any other projects like LCA or any other while Gripen is offering to help. Second Gripen is offering technology transfer but its engine and few parts are not made by Gripen so it will be not easy to transfer technology whereas F-16 is full developed by single companies so technology transfer is easy.